day and welcome to News at 12 on the Gallery TV. I am Adebayo Omolara. Here's the news headline. On the aid elders threatened seven-year-old Ondo farmer with cutlass. PDP National Chairman Uche Secondos and Ex-President Olusegun Obasanjo. Buni Battles 5 suits, 100 APC members seek removal. On business news, Jimo Ibrahim owes government 70 billion naira will retain Nikon others AMCON Amcon. Stock market eats four month high, investors gain 65 billion naira. On sport news, Arsenal agreed 30 million pounds deal for Real Madrid Odegaard. Now the news and details. Under eight elders threatened seven year old Ondo farmer with cutlass. The Ondo State Security Network Agency, also known as the Amotekun Corps, on Thursday said it is arrested no fewer than for violating the open grazing law of the state. According to the courts, the suspect are Ibrahim Musa and his two underage children. The state commandment of commandant of the Corps Chief Adetunji Adelaya said his men got a distress call when the suspect allegedly destroyed the farm of a female farmer at Kajola community in Akure, South Local Government area of the state. He alleged that the elders were harassing the farmer, Mrs. Victoria Ad Ajayi, with a cutlass when the Amoteco officers were invited. Narrating her experience, the Saptuginarian said she was in her house when her grandson alerted her to the presence of the elders. She said that evening I was resting after taking my drugs because I was on medication for hypertension. My little boy called and said there were cows on our farm. I saw a man standing afar while the two little boys were with the cows. I asked them not to call their father, but they did not listen. They looked at me angrily. As I was trying to tell the boys to take the cows out of my farm, one of them brought out a cutlass and pointed it at my face. Then I knew I was in trouble. They were there for hours as the cows ate my vegetables and pepper. I also watched as they dug my heap of yam tubers with their legs and head my long waited ready to be arrested yams. I am glad that immediately I narrated my ordeal day Amotek officers followed me to my house and got them arrested. Musa fifty two said he regretted his action. He said, I have been living in Akure for 30 years without having trouble with anyone. I was not around when the incident occurred. It was my little boys that were on, undergoing training on how to become elders that misbehaved. I was at the Sabo area in Akure when it all happened. PDP National Chairman Uche Secondos and Ex-President Olusegun Obasanjo. There were strong indications on Thursday that the power blocks in the opposition People's Democratic Party had sidestepped some of the agreements reached at the party's expanded National Executive Com Committee meeting held on Tuesday, August 10. It was gathered that through it was agreed at the meeting that the party's national convention should hold in October. The Uche Secondus led National Working Committee was advancing reasons why the date was no longer feasible. But sources in the party said rival power block led the River State Governor, Yesam Wike, dismissed Secondus. As he said, it was a ploy to sit tight. It was gathered that based on the French crisis in the party, it might hold another NEC meeting next month. Recall that crisis aid the PDP two weeks ago following alleged moves by a group within the party to remove secondos on the grounds that he was plotting to install his loyalists as members of the National Convention Committee to ensure his remarkance as the national chairman. 
Buhari battles five suits under APC members seek removal. No fewer than five cases are currently before different courts on the eligibility or otherwise of Governor Mai Malabuni holding the positions of the chairman of the Ketika Extraordinary National Convention Planning Committee of the ruling All Progressive Congress and Governor Yoga State at the same time. Investigation by the punch has revealed on the five pending cases, three were initiated by members of the ruling party, while the People's Democratic Party and the New Nigerian People's Party initiated one each. One of the cases filed by member by the party members rather was one instituted by one Oko Sisi Ungu. Ungu had asked the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory to South Bonny led CECPC and nullify all actions as, as so far taken, including the recent World Congresses. The request forms part of the release in a suit marked SCTHCCV 1824-2021. Listed as defendants are the APC and all CEPC members that include Buni, Oshun State Governor, Adeboyega Oyetola, Niger State Governor Abubakar Sani Bello, former President of the Senate Ken Namani, Stella Okerete, Dr. James Lalu, Senator Abubakar Yusuf, Akiyemi Olaide, David Leon, Abba Ali, Professor Ta Tahir Maman, Ismail, Ismail Ahmed, and Senator John Akpanudiohe. Another chieftain of the party, Basha Bolanua, also instituted a case against the Bonnie-led CECP. Bolanua, who was removed by the CECPC as chairman of the party in Choir State, is asking the High Court of the FCT to declare the entire panel illegal. He said it was wrong for Buni and his counterpart from Niger and Oshun State to preside over affairs of the APC. Among other appeal, Bolani will urge the court to determine whether the appointment of the second and fourteenth defendant chairman and members of CECPC was not legal without ratification of the board of trustees of the first defendant having regards to Article 18 of 2 of APC Constitution. Let's go on a short break. We will be right back. Good news to all Lagos residents, especially owners of landed properties. Payment of land use charge has now been made easy through an online platform known as Lola. Lola is Lagos online assistance platform where payment of land use charge is possible through a WhatsApp only message on 0815-433-3883. This Lola platform initiated by the Lagos State Ministry of Finance will make the payment of land use charge possible anytime, any day and anywhere without any third party involvement. For more information, please visit www.lola.ng or luc.legostate.gov.ng Lola, the easiest way to pay your Lagos State land use charge. Always remember, Welcome back, still on news at 12. No one business news. Jimo Ibrahim owes government 70 billion naira will retain Nikon orders AMCON. The Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria has said that the following a high court order it still remains in charge of assets belonging to a business mogul, Jimo Ibrahim. A statement from the corporation on Thursday said Ibrahim's current in the, in the indebtedness to Amcon stood at nearly 70 billion naira. The statement signed by Head of Corporate communica Communications at Amcon Judge Nuazo said Justice A. R. Mohammed of the Federal High Court Abuja Division had on Wednesday ordered ANCON Nikon Insurance Limited, Nigeria Reinsurance, and Ibrahim to maintain the status quo ante until September 8, 2021. When the court would rather hear all pending applications on the matter, Unwazo said the matter between Ibrahim and Amcon had been interminable since the loan was purchased 
by the government debt recovery agency during the first phase of eligible bank asset purchases from Union Bank in the early days of Amcon. The statement read Amcon and BPE on July 21st received approval from the National Insurance Commission to constitute a new board and management of Nikon Insurance Limited and Nigeria Republic. The charge was to enhance the smooth running, efficient and effective management to the two firms previously owned by the recalcitrant debtor and businessman. The reason for the changes in board and management of the two insurance firms was to crew to take over of the major investors' interest in the two organizations. And in, in the Bureau for Public Enterprises, who worked in partnership with Amcon to bring the much needed stability in the operation of the organizations. Amcon said the constitution of the board and management team of the two insurance institutions in Nigeria was to ensure that the firms remain transparent and accountable. It said, after the constitution of the boss, Jimo Ibrahim belatedly approached the call to obtain an order seeking to stop Amcon from constituting the boards of the two insurance firms. But when the case came up for a year on Monday, the 18th of August, the judge ruled that all parties maintained the status quo until September 8, which was agreed by both counsel to Jimo Ibrahim and co. C.I. Okboko, Senator, Senior Advocate of Nigeria and Council of AMCON, AU Mustafa, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Stock markets eat four month high, investors gain 65 billion naira. Equality investors in Nigeria Exchange Limited gained 64.93 billion naira on Thursday as the NGX All Shares Index rose by 0.32%. To 39,670 basis points, it's higher since April 26, 2021. The market capitalization of equities increased to 20.67 trillion naira on Thursday from 20.60 trillion naira the previous day. Trading volume jumped by 52.90% from 132.1 million shares worth. 2.67 billion naira traded in 3307 deals on Wednesday to 201.84 million shares valued at 1.68 billion naira in 3274 deals by sector NGX insurance and NGX industrial indices increased by 0.77% and 0.22% respectively while the banking consumer goods and oil and gas indices depreciated by 0.06%, 1.68% and 0.0% respectively. On sport news, Arsenal agrees 30 million pounds deal for Real Madrid's Odegaard. Arsenal are on the verge of a permanent deal for Real Madrid midfielder Martin Odegaard. According to report on Wednesday, Odega joined Arsenal on loan for the second half of last season after failing to break into Real Madrid team. The 22-year-old scored just two goals in 20 appearances for the Premier League club, but impressed Ghana's boss Mike Mikel Ateta with his composed performances. Odega was hoping to Real Madrid to get a new chance under Real Madrid Carlo and Celotti this season, but Arsenal looks sick to bring the Norway International back to the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal reportedly agreed a fee in the region of £30 million, pounds, that is $41 million, for the Norway International. Oliver joined Real Madrid as a highly rated 16 year old from Storm's Godset in 2015. But he has never established himself in Madrid, spending two seasons on loan at temporary Erwin Vin before temporary stint with Ventis and him, Rio Social Dad and Arsenal. Ateta has already signed Ben White, Ben White, Nuno Tavares, and Albert Sambi Lokonga since the end of the last season. 
But Arsenal opened the Premier League season with a woeful 2-0 loss at promoted Brentford on Friday. The Gunners face European champions Chelsea on Sunday in their first home game of the campaign. And that will be all for now at News at 12. Join us on News at 4 for more news updates. Thank you for having me. I am Adibayo Mulera.